and welcome to my channel The Wababa. The fourth video, one of these days I'll stop counting how many times I actually say what video it is, uh, because one day I will eventually forget. And I'm home now as you can see, I was home yesterday, and what an amazing event Make Central was. Yeah, I met some, met some really, really nice people there, including the likes of Joe from Average Joel's Joinery, and I met Richard Marley from Makers International, uh, Chris Cute from Makers International, in International. Um, who else? There was uh, Peter Brown, I met him personally, um, Chris from the Blind Blood Turner, uh, G-Sip, them two, fantastic pair of people, and Nick, obviously. Um, who else? Jimson stuff met him. Uh, John Claudio met him, and many more. I just can't remember all of. Oh, sorry, yeah. And Bobby Duke. I didn't get the chance to shake hands or meet Jimmy Duresta because he was a bit too preoccupied with other people, and there's all the people there, and I really, really, I've not got the patience to stand there for several hours just to meet one person and rather just float about and just pick out different people who I'm going to speak to and which is exactly what I did and the strange thing was as well throughout uh, Saturday yeah all day Saturday I was looking for Rob from Rob's woodshop and funnily enough when I was searching around for him that's when I caught like Joe um, he was helping me look for him um, seeing Richard Marley there as well, and I had a really, really good, good chat with uh, Joe. He's a, he's a really, really nice guy. And when we was actually speaking and um, looking for him, eventually, you know, I turned out to like, you know, you carry on whatever you're doing, because uh, I didn't want to take all of his time because it probably would have took a lot of time because it was as if it was looking for a needle in a haystack. And the strange thing was we. Me and my son, we sat down to watch, who was it now? I can't remember who it was. Oh, Skull and Spade, I think it was, yeah? Yeah, Skull and Spade, and obviously like him, Al, Steve, uh, watching them. Funnily enough, Rob sat right next to me. So, it couldn't have been a target thing, it must just have been fate <laughs> so so yeah we was doing that and uh, then really really good good chat with him and also on the Sunday as well a really good chat with him um, also uh, I met Stephen from 856 Shed uh, he's a cracking guy uh, also who else who else did I speak to yeah, I'm all plus for names it's a case of where you know I, I can I can picture him and then when I'm on the like when I'm watching YouTube, I can I know him by name and then it just goes to a mad blank. And but he's a great one turn anyway, <laughs> narrows it down. So anyway, yeah, so what the video is today is that I'm going to make Joe a box slash parcel slash letter opener and it's going to be out of wood and steel so it's going to be quite brutal and quite basic but he doesn't like knives he's not interested in knives so I just thought I'd make one out of uh, steel Right. Oh. All 
always use your goggles first because it can get quite bad. Workshop. This sort of portion of the garden is my workshop. Isn't it fantastic? So I want to do is lower the camera down. I'm gonna supposed to do it anyway but I don't really it's I'm just winging it here I'm not actually doing any measurements at all um, I want this to be a bit bigger than that so it's only slightly a little bit bigger so I didn't do bad really obviously this part here you can't really see it can you yeah that part there is going to be I'm just going to chop it so a little bit, so basically it's just got a bit of an edge and then I'm just going to do the rest of the uh, grinder so uh, it'll be quite uh, prehistoric and sort of like uh, back in a second so. Alright, so first what about one of this is going to be one of two pieces this Ignore the other side, it's an old one. I'm going to create a little bit of a, like a sharp point here, but then the blade is going to be, the blade is going to be here. So once the blade's there, then all you do is hold it, uh, not the tape, pull it along, and you should cut it. So. Right. Hold them together, I'm going to use nails. Don't laugh. It's not about that. Jeez, so much sawdust. Right, you can tell you that with plenty of sawdust. Right, so you need one that's slightly. I think that should be it. These vices are only cheap by the way. I think it cost me about 20 quid for about 12 of them or something. But see, I mean, they do the job. Uh, you get what you pay for, really. So, grinders unplugged. Level 
and farm with the uh, like a steel protruding through that side. And that side, I think I'll have that as a top. So as you hold it like that, because that looks like a better grain, because that's a bit boring that one. But as for these three sides, in fact, uh, no, yeah. These three will be like the, f the face ones, uh, and that one, that one there, the bottom. So, <coughs> what I'm going to do now, I'm going to put some some drill holes. That's what I will do. It will just shorter. I'll put like a little hoop here, so uh, you can uh, you can hang it. That'll be one drill hole. All right. Uh, okay. So it should look like that. Well, a bit off there as well. So let's get this loop sorted out. And that up with that one. And that one and that one.
Yeah, I just put some five minute epoxy on this here and I just put it on now, so well, a minute ago, so it's got to wait uh, for about four more minutes. Yeah, I've only done it on that side in between there and the steel, uh, so all I've got to do, as you can see, the nail sticking out there. That's basically where they just sit, just slightly proud of the timber. And once that's done, I'm going to hit the nails through slightly so I can offer this bit of timber up onto it and get about with and then uh well no sorry I tell a lie well I don't tell a lie but mistakenly forgot to mention that I'm going to put pops on this side as well as the uh, timber so and then I'm going to clamp it up again and then I'll uh that should be the actual framework done and then it's just a matter of just tidying it all up and getting it all where it's a hand thing, get it sharpened on this little edge here and get Joel to give me his address and then I'll send it to him I will be recording it but I'm going to have a little break and I'm going to have a cigarette the reason why the, there's a gap in the camera then is because I had to charge the camera battery because it's only um, I think it's 1250 milliamps an hour or something like that it's not a very high capacity battery so it's uh, then again it doesn't take long to charge neither so it's not so bad but you can't use it while it's on charge and that's what the mistake was last time when it corrupted the file because there was a uh, charging at the same time so hopefully this will be a lot better and you can see the mess that I make and the mistakes that I make and the complete and utter shambles of a working condition of a small portion of a garden well garden I've got loads of stuff there, I've got a barbecue, I've got to tidy up and uh, redo, I've got an old oven that I'm going to be putting underneath it, so uh, I'm going to add that as like a little um, smoker or something, um, it's a double oven that I took apart, I'm going to have the, the bottom oven which, can, which is the bigger one, I'm going to have that on the, on the uh, top and the smaller one is going to be underneath where I'm going to actually have the coals or the, tip or the, the wooden to um, burn and to cook the the stuff in the uh, top of them but that's all going to be underneath that barbecue yeah, okay it's all should be done now so unclamp it
a piece of white. Uh, I love this uh, sanding mesh though. So you just keep on keep on using it and it's like it doesn't go down that fast. Effective on the steel as well. Right, so there you go, finished product. Uh, you can hang it on the wall or whatever. You've got a uh, the blade just there, or there, sorry, um, it's not very, it's sharp but it's not very sharp, a few imperfections but um, I really like it Joe, and uh, have fun with it and hope it works for you, and, and as, like I said it's not a knife, it's uh, it looks more like a sickle but, or a scythe, whatever you call them, but yeah, uh, it's got a function for it, so I hope you like it buddy. Bye.